Honda in Chile. What does it take to rebuild the biggest truck engines in the world after tens of thousands of hours hauling copper ore? I traveled all the way to Enifagasta, Chile to find out. The first step of the rebuilding process is they bring the components in through that door and you have to disassemble and clean all of the components. So this right here is the outer casing for a 797 transmission. And then you can see the internal part of the transmission here is still getting disassembled. So they're pulling all of the bolts and every one of these pieces will be pulled and disassembled and put into those, I don't know what those are called. They're giant washing machines essentially to be cleaned and then the reconditioning start process starts. So they put all the parts into the washer. As you just saw, they have the smaller parts in the baskets. They wash it for about 30 minutes or so, and then they're clean and they're ready for the next step. These are the same components that we saw over there in the disassembly area, and now they're being reassembled. This is a clean area, so you'll notice there's cloths laying on everything. The floor is immaculately clean. They don't want any contaminants getting into these components as they're rebuilding them. So all of this is, is wrapped in plastic. It's like it's an operating room. They even have parking spaces for their trash cans. Oh. This is the non-destructive testing. So what they're doing is they're using this special light to see how the structure of the component is. If it's ready to go or if it's junk, they're looking for little cracks in the structure. If they find a crack with the non-destructive testing, the part's scrapped. It's no good anymore, so they would replace it at that point. So all of these have just been inspected and they're good to go. Look at, look at this, too. That little laboratory is the Centro Calibraciones, where they calibrate all of the tools that are used in this shop. So all those people are doing in there are calibrating the tools that are used to rebuild all these components. That's how precise it has to be. It's so amazing how simple yet complex it is. This is for a 794 haul truck. It's all rebuilt. It's tied down to this pallet and it's ready to be shipped to the mine site. When they rebuild components, this now has a new serial number and it has the same warranty that a brand new one of these would have from the factory. That's amazing. We're now in the third shop. The third shop. This place just keeps going and going. This is where they do drivetrain and final drive for primarily 797, eventually 798, and then 794, 793, any large haul truck. This is where all the work's done. So it'll be on there for about two hours. That's one engine right now being tested as we speak. And then this is the other one right here getting set up for testing, which will probably be tomorrow. This, this engine right here is for a 6020B. And then this is for a 797B. That's a 797 transmission being tested. So this is technically the very 
final step in the process. They're testing that, putting it through full loading to make sure that it's entirely functional and ready to go, to go back to the customer. Another 797 engine getting ready for paint. This is, this entire thing is the paint booth. It's huge, but it's huge because they're dealing with huge components. Look at this. All ready to get loaded on the trucks, to be driven back to the mines, to go back to work. We're now in the machine shop, which is somewhat of the in-between. They've disassembled, they've inspected the parts and anything that's damaged, that's large, but repairable comes over here where they weld and then machine everything to what it needs to be per the specifications. This is a shovel part. That's why it's really big, the shovels are really big. That is the part on there. It's the HydroCloud TM type saddle block. This is what pulls the bucket up and down. I can't quite visualize it on the shovel, but that's that's what that is. I've confirmed it. Gracias. That robot is not welding, it's adding more metal two millimeters to that spindle by spraying it. This is what's fed into the gun, the robot, and it's superheated up and then sprayed out and it bonds to the existing metal somehow. I don't, I don't understand it, I don't understand it. But it's not welded. This is the first time I've ever seen a robot spraying metal. This is what the metal spray looks like before it's machined so you can see they've added a very very small layer of metal on top of that existing engine block and then what's about to happen is they grind it down very very precisely and over here we can see a finished one and so here you have a finished block you can see everything is perfect from a circle point of view. And then everything is perfect from a smoothest point of view. That's as technical as I, as I get. But this block is ready for another life. This is the hydraulic shop we're at now. All the disassembly of hydraulics, rebuilding, reassembly of hydraulics. And as you can see, they have some big cylinders here. This is the guy she tells you not to worry about right here. I'm worried. Hose shop, 4,000 hoses per month. Come out of here. And welcome back to another edition of me versus the guy she tells me not to worry about. So this is just, yeah, just assembly to avoid contamination. So the engines are disassembled over there. They are machined at the machine shop that we just saw. And then this whole area here is dedicated to reassembly for the sake of contamination control. They can't disassemble and reassemble in the same spot. So everything here is being put back together. And then once it's together, they bring it to the paint shop 
where they clean it up and then they test it in the dyno and then they wrap it in plastic, put it on a truck and send it a few hours from here to the mines. It's a little bit bigger than your average Prius. Just a little bit. Look at that. Okay, that over there is a 797B engine and it's two engines put together. So you can see they just separated one of them 30 seconds ago. And then over here, you have the 797F engine, which is just technically one engine producing the power for the entire machine. So that is, that's the difference. That's amazing, they're right next to each other. Just a brief note before we get out of here. These engines have about 15,000 hours on them before they're pulled from the truck, brought here to be reconditioned. You can, you can do this to the engines every 15,000 hours. He said some of them they've rebuilt six times over. Okay, that's it at the finning. Antofagasta CRC. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I, I've never seen anything like this. I've been to a lot of CRCs. Nothing even comes close to the scale of what's happening here. So much, 500 people almost working here seven days a week to rebuild parts to send back to the mines. It's an incredible part of the heavy equipment world that's not shown off very much. I'm glad we got to see the whole place, all access and tomorrow, we're going to go see where the parts are used. Thanks for tuning in. Stay dirty, everybody. <laughs>